opinion Kwame Jan Tua is a legal practitioner and a member of the CPP. Philip London Safohene is also a member of the New Patriotic Party. We've been talking about um, Ghana reaching three billion staff level agreement with the IMF. Um, opinion. What happens if there's a delay in the line up um, the IMF has given? Delay? Yeah. It all depends on how we restructure ourselves. Mm. It all depends on that. We've, they said first quarter mm. of next year. Right, they give the us a timeline. The li they haven't given us a timeline. We are saying by first quarter uh, next year, mm. we should get the board level uh, agreement. So it depends on how we handle it. But you see, the other thing that we haven't taken on is the action of the rebels in parliament. Mm. The fact that they were able to face government. From that point on, a lot of MPP people should have been able to do it. If things are going wrong, they should be able to do it because Kenoforeta has taken a certain position as if he is untouchable. Mm -hmm. But from that point on, Anything government did that they felt wasn't right, they should be able to say it. The more voices you hear, the more it, it makes them realize that they can't do anything they want. But they're quiet. Mm -hmm. How many ministers have you heard talk about the, the challenges that we're going through? How many? Mm. How many ministers have you heard talk about even this IMF restructuring? Right. They all seem to be quiet. Why? Why? There must be a reason. And that reason is not helping us. Mm. The way Philip is talking now, I expect some of the ministers to talk like that. Mm. I expect them to talk like that. Because you're not there because of all your party. You're there primarily because of the people of Ghana who put you there through the president appointing you. Mm. So your, 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 your commitment is to the people first. Yeah. So if you see something not going on right, okay, mm. discuss it with your your government uh, people. But if they are not listening, make sure that you have a way of bringing it out to the general mm. public so that it puts pressure on activities of the finance minister. Right now, the finance minister has got extra power yeah. because he's realized you tried, it won't work mm. because the end result is the president. Right. The president is not prepared to sack me, so all you are doing, forget it, can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. But we, the people, have got to put pressure on the president because we voted him into power and he has to listen to us. Mm. This, at this point, he's not. He's become right. a family dynasty. It has to stop. It's so not helping you, the country. Do you side with opinion? In fact, one caller um, <laughs> called um, um, Alan Tremantin's name out. Alan Tremantin is he part he's of, a minister of trade. So he, is he part of the economic management team? Yeah, the economic management team. It looks team like they are all quiet with regards to this issue. Is you know, any special uh, I reason? will not go into any internal workings mm. of my party. Okay. I won't do that. Uh, the Ministry of Finance is leading mm -hmm. the negotiations right. with the IMF. So we are all going to support mm -hmm. to ensure that it succeeds for the good of this country. Right. In as much as the Ministry of Finance is leading it, mm -hmm. it is not a negotiation for the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Finance is just leading it in the name of the government for the Republic of Ghana. So this is a national effort. It's a national endeavor. And that is why I, I am saying that it is only sensible mm -hmm. for all the stakeholders to be engaged. So that everybody has an ownership in the process, and then because there are going to be some painful uh, consequences to this uh, endeavor that we're engaging in, mm. everybody must must come on board and be ready to accept and embrace <laughs> themselves for what's going to come up. I find it most unfortunate that some people, especially from our party side, are trying to give the impression that oh, we, it's like we have one. Uh, the semi-finals yeah. with the meeting with the IMF and $3 billion has, has come and that's why the dollar is even dropping. It is mm. nothing near the truth. Nothing at all. The hard work is yet to come. So if we do not mm. and we, we must stop trying to 
create the impression or some people try to give the impression as though it's something that they have achieved. No, it's a national effort. We should not have been here in the first place. We should not have been here at all. Well, but we are here. If we are repairing the problem, we must all come on board and do it. But I Philip, as you, as you say, the finance minister, or the finance minister is the one leading it. Apart from leading it, the content of what they are putting forward comes from the finance ministry and that content as you rightly said should encompass all stakeholders exactly but it's not done that way no 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 but that they is what has to be done that way but but the thing the Why proposal has it that way no we don't it, it must happen it must happen well it won't be done that but way but you cannot go and do well, let's see no no but let's you see. you cannot go no 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 the see, finance minister has taken a certain position as if he, he cannot is take the a all. Po he cannot take he a is position the like that. And, uh, be he it, cannot. Be it an end all of if all. If the IMF themselves, the IMF, even them, they have engaged other stakeholders. They met with the, 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 the vice president of the republic. They met with the minister for finance. Mm. They met with the parliamentary select committee on finance. They met labor unions. They've left met various stakeholders. If they have met them. Now how can the ministry so why is it he doing it the fact that he hasn't done it doesn't mean he won't do it and i'm just saying that watch it accept it oh. watch it accept it but and, it must happen that because delay, if it doesn't happen and it that, won't work. and that delay is creating a certain atmosphere that he's not prepared to do it and the president should call him to book that is what i don't understand the president should call him to book because the president is the republic of this country he's mm -hmm. all our president and he has to do it because he is ruling us. Right. He's not okay. just there because of Kenoforiata. He's there because he's ruling us and he should do the right thing by the people. Unfortunately, he's not. Where this matter is concerned. Right. Um, we have just a few minutes to go. Let me take your final words. On uh, the fuel or on this? Um, okay, you, you can touch on that fuel. I don't understand but why it's the IES who has to tell us that mm. fuel prices are going to come down. It is the responsibility of NPA. Right. to make sure they tell us because they handle the, 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 the half monthly rates so you, of fuel. You think it's so, so, well, it's not a question of it being authentic. Mm. It's a question of is it realistically true? Right. They don't give it. They are giving their opinion. So MPA should come out and tell us. Yes, okay. it's good that it is dropping. But we shouldn't have been here in the first place. We mm. shouldn't. We should make sure that we do not get... Uh, look, with all these things, the people are primary in terms of information. Mm. Give us the information so that we can plan. Right now, if you realize, imports are not coming in, which is a good thing. Huh? And it's going to make Christmas very, very difficult. But the flip side is, okay, how do we now structure our, uh, uh, our, our, our local uh, mm -hmm. companies to be able to fulfill those gaps that imports uh, are not bringing in? And how do we maintain it going forward? So first quarter of next year, what are some of the things we can do to make sure that some of these imports that are coming in, we are able to substitute it with our local uh, uh, production? So mm. number one, poultry. Uh, poultry, mm -hmm. what are we doing to make sure that throughout next year, we have poultry, local poultry? What are right. we doing? Yes, you know, uh, adversity brings its own challenges right. and also opportunities as they say necessity is the mother of invention um, some economies advanced because of certain situations that they found themselves in if you go to south africa yes they had a, 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 a an obnoxious regime and the world imposed sanctions but it forced the country to make various advancements in certain areas uh, the adversity we are going through now provides certain challenges and opportunities for us to even move this country forward COVID brought a lot of problems, but mm -hmm. some countries use the hardship that COVID brought yeah. mm -hmm. to make various advances. Right. Even here, we made our own advances. So yes, things are difficult and all that, but we must not throw our hands up in the air. Mm. We must really do something about what's going on. Um, I was going to talk about poultry, which my brother just mentioned. The poultry industry is almost collapsing now. 80%, mm. I was hearing yesterday of... Um, entrance into the business are folding up. It shouldn't happen. Why should we be importing chicken from Brazil? We should be exporting chicken to the rest of Africa. 
this is an opportunity for us to, you know, the Ministry of Agriculture should be focusing on things like that. How to get our poultry industry moving, how to get agri maize, millet, and being produced in such vast commercial quantities that it will help the poultry and other industries. You know, that should be our concern, not opening a market at the ministry. So, uh, where we are now, it is not a, a, a joking business. We have to be very serious. And, and whether we like it or not, listen to the tone of sound, especially the young people phoning in. They are beginning to get disappointed with the main political parties. If we don't begin to show some real leadership and proper direction as to how this country can move forward, it will not, it will not help us at all. Right. So Great is. submissions this morning. Thank you so much for coming through. It's always beautiful yeah. um, to get you here on Wednesdays. Opinion Kwame Jantua is a legal practitioner and a member of the CPP. Philip London Safuhene is also a member of the New Patriotic Party. Um, we have been talking about Ghana reaching um, a $3 billion staff level agreement with IMF. This is where we end the media review segments.